Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys. Glad to be here and share a word with you regarding the Bible. I want to speak to you on a short five or ten minute message entitled Jesus is what it's all about. Jesus <coughs> is what really counts. It's all it's all about Jesus. The whole Bible majors in the fact that Jesus Christ is the hope and help of the world. He restores us, He forgives us, He leads us to heaven. And now I read these words in the book of John, the 10th chapter, verse 9, Jesus said, concerning the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, may the Lord bless these messages, Amen. The Bible says, Jesus said, I'm the door, by me, by me, if any man opens, uh, enters, he shall be saved, and he shall go in and out find pasture. And so the kingdom of God is is waiting for all of us who believe in Jesus as only only those that are in the kingdom of God are going to heaven because the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven are practically the same thing. And Jesus said, I'm the door. If any man comes to me, he will be saved and they enter into the kingdom. I want you to believe in Jesus as the Lord of your life. For the Bible says, he that believes in the Son of God is not condemned, but he is saved. Saved from a devil's hell. Saved forever. But he that believes not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the Son of God. So I want you to pray a brief prayer if you haven't. And ask Jesus Christ to forgive you and come in your heart. The Bible says this and this we need to pray. Pray like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come into my heart. Help me live for you. Amen. Pray that prayer and live forever. And find your good church and attend and worship with God's people. Now that's important that we do this. We find that it's important that we recognize that Jesus Christ is what it's all about. Jesus Christ is what it's all about. It's all about Jesus. Over in Ephesians in the third chapter, in verse 18 and 19, it says, For through Jesus we have access and access by the Holy Spirit to come to the Father. And so here's a picture of the Godhead, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, all in one verse. For through Jesus we have the access by the Holy Spirit to come unto the Holy Father. And so the way to the Holy Father is through the name, through the Holy Spirit by the name of Jesus Christ we come to Him. So this is important and we need to see this. For then therefore you are no more strangers and pilgrims and foreigners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and with the household of God. You belong to God. You belong to His people. We all become one family and we belong to God when you believe in Jesus. Jesus is what it's all about. Amen. It's all about Jesus. In Colossians, in the second chapter, in verse 9, it says this, For in Christ dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit dwell fully in Christ. And so this is important. And we are complete in Him. You are complete in Christ. You have all you need when you accept Christ. You have all your sins forgiven. You have your name is written in heaven. You have been born again. You are now written in heaven and you've got a place up there and waiting for you. And down here you become the child of God. You're born again. And God is now your father. And he will take care of you. God will take care of you. Over in Hebrews in the 10th chapter in uh, verses uh, uh, 19 it says this having therefore boldness to, to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way let us draw near to God. Now in the Old Testament they, they came and they, they brought their sacrifices to the priest and, and they were killed and the blood was given to the high priest and he would go behind the curtain into the presence of Almighty God and pray. And when God the Father saw the blood and heard the prayer of the priest, he'd forgive his people. And so now it says through Jesus having brother the boldness now 
to come into the to the holy place by the blood of Jesus. We no longer need we no longer need to come by the uh, we we don't have to come by the uh, the way uh, of the high priest because they're all gone now. But Jesus is now a high priest. Over in John in the tenth chapter, it says this that uh, Jesus. Uh, Gave up. He was. Uh, he gave up his. His. Uh, his. He gave up his life and died, and that the the veil in the temple was torn from top to bottom. The great veil that separated the people from the high priest and from the from the presence of Almighty God. No one could go there but the high priest. When that, Jesus died on that cross, that temple. That veil was rent in two from top to bottom. God tore it open, threw it aside. Now the door is wide open for you and me. All of us who believe will come in the name of Jesus and we have access to the Father. Thank God for that. Praise the Lord for that. We're grateful. So when we pray, we ought to remember to pray for that and pray and remember that God will hear us when we pray. Pray always. Pray always. Pray often. Pray because God loves to hear you pray. First Peter the third chapter it says this uh, that we need to recognize and that uh, that is good. In verse 18, for Christ also hath suffered for us, that the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. Oh, praise the Lord! And therefore, Jesus suffered the just for the unjust to bring us to God. And when he brings us to God, we're safe forever. Oh, I want you to know that. I want you to believe that, friend. Oh, I want you to know you're washed in the blood and you're clean forever and God loves you. And even when you fall, He picks you up and says, Come on, we're going to make it together and you're not going to be left behind. You will never be forgotten because the Lord now belongs to you and you belong to Him. And He loves you with a love that will never, never cease. He will love you to the very end. So, praise God. Praise God. Come and walk together and let us look up and keep going keeping our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you for the blood. Plead the blood. Say, Lord God, do this. In the blood of Jesus, I'm claiming it. I'm claiming healing in the blood of Jesus. I'm claiming power and the Spirit in the name of, in the blood of Jesus. I'm claiming, oh, the salvation of the souls of this person or that one. In the name of Jesus, I'm pleading the blood. Pray and plead the blood. And God will hear and answer prayer. Praise the Lord for the blood. Up Calvary's mountain, one dreadful morn, walk Christ my Savior, weary and worn. For sinners pleading, dying unheeding, dying unheeding, dying for me. Oh, praise the Lord. One day in glory, we're going to sing the praise of a God who loved us and gave himself for us that we might be redeemed forever. God bless you, and remember, it's all about Jesus. So try to keep your mind on Him as much as you can. In His name, amen and amen.